Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. For the past several months now, Don DeZarn and I have been promoting our plan to improve the state of New Jersey. Unlike the Republican plan, and unlike the Democrat plan, our plan is very specific. It is rational, it has a long-term vision, and it benefits all of us, not just some. Here is our plan in a nutshell. Lower property taxes, more transparency, nullify Obamacare, simplify the gun laws, abolish Common Core so that we can have more options for our children's education, legalize marijuana, and legalize gay marriage. This plan covers all of the major issues facing New Jersey. High property taxes, lack of transparency, treatment of some New Jerseyans as second-class citizens, gun laws that aren't enforced, a health care system so complicated that one legislature said, pass the bill, then read it and a, a poor, one-size-fits-all education system that gives parents little to no say and gives no merit-based pay for teachers. Now, compare this plan that Don DeZarn and I have come up with and are promoting, compare it with what the Democrats and the Republicans propose. You will find that neither the Republicans nor the Democrats anything to offer you other than vague, ambiguous rhetoric, mediocrity, hypocrisy, and more catering to special interest groups. While the rest of us here in New Jersey get left in the cold paying for the destruction of our state. The Democrats claim that they're not afraid to take on special interests, but that's a blatant lie. In fact, I think it's completely opposite. I think they're terrified of standing up to special interests. That's why they only give small business loans to some people. That's why they only give tax breaks to some people. And those people always are part of a group. They're part of special interest groups. Whether those people are a certain race, whether they're a certain age, whether they belong to certain organizations, whether they make a certain income or don't make a certain income. These folks, the Democrats, they also brag about supporting a, a 2% property tax cap. But let's be clear. That means an annual property tax increase of 2%. Don DeZarn and I actually want to lower your property tax. When the state is suffering from highest property tax in the entire country, we need to seriously offer relief. The Democrats don't want to do that. The Democrats also brag about tax credits for certain people. In fact, they brag about it constantly. They're repetitive about it. But let's again be clear. That's an unfair and divisive tax code. I believe instead that 
all people should be treated equally under the law. It doesn't matter what color they are. It doesn't matter how old they are. It doesn't matter how much money they make. It doesn't matter what their sexual orientation is. It doesn't matter how they choose to medicate. Ladies and gentlemen, inequality under the law always breeds resentment. Do we really want to live in a state that grows more and more divided? Divided based on age, race, gender, sexual orientation, or income? Instead, we should unite under the common causes of individual liberty, opportunity, and respect. Speaking of equality under the law, the Democrats do not highlight the legalization of gay marriage and the legalization of marijuana as priorities worth talking about. Don DeZarn and I proudly hold these to be priorities. That's why we went to the State House holding signs yelling out to Governor Christie, urging him to sign a bill that would, in, that would improve access to medicinal marijuana. Greenstein, D'Angelo, and Benson, the Democrats were running against, they also have nothing to say about education. They're fine with our failing unfair, astronomically expensive, one-size-fits-all education program called Common Core. Dan Benson did vote against it, but his opposition to Common Core isn't that passionate. It's not passionate enough for him to lead a conquest abolishing the system. The Democrats also have the audacity to put ethics on their platform, despite being extremely unethical. The Democrats want to take away our right to self-defense. They want to make it impossible for us to own guns and protect ourselves. There's not much that is more unethical than taking away a person's right to self-defense that is the, the primal sense of dignity that every person has the right to. The Democrats, in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, are hypocrites. As for the Republicans, They say on their website that they can make New Jersey a more attractive place for businesses by establishing fiscal stability and predictability. But how? No comment whatsoever. Not a word about how much, in particular, they might reduce taxes, spending, or debt. Nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing. They also claim that they'll reduce government bureaucracy and create tax incentives that will lower unemployment. Ladies and gentlemen, how will they manage to do that? They offer no numbers, no elaboration or explanation. They just make that blank, ambiguous statement. And like the Democrats, the Republicans, that's Peter Inverso, that's Steve Cook, and that's Ronald Haas, they say they'll continue increasing 
your property taxes by 2% every year. Again, let me remind you that Dom Design and I will do everything we can to lower your property taxes. We believe that it is imperative that property taxes are lowered. Ladies and gentlemen, let me also remind you here that the Republicans on their website have absolutely nothing to say about education, and they have nothing whatsoever to say about equality under the law. The choices this year, in this election, the choices are clear. If you vote for the Republicans, again, that's Peter Inverso, Steve Cook, and Ronald Haas. If you vote for them, you'll get fed empty lies without any explanation whatsoever, without any semblance of vision, without anything concrete. If you vote for the Democrats, you get a more divided, more expensive New Jersey controlled by hypocritical, disrespectful people. If you vote for the independents, Sean O'Connor and Don DeZarn, you'll get lower taxes, you'll get honesty, you'll get equality for all under the law, you'll get better health care at a cheaper cost, you'll get better education, and you'll get your right to self-defense. It will be protected. Don DeZarn and I can win this election. But we need your help. We need you to share our articles, our pictures, and our videos, and our ideas with everyone you know. And we need money to remain competitive throughout this election. With your help, we can revive New Jersey and make it a better place for all of us. Thank you so much for your time. May God bless New Jersey and may God bless America.